Um, hey guys, it's gonna be a different kind of video this time around. Um, if you're reading the title, you're probably wondering, is it going to be an exposed kind of video? Now, for those that know me, or for those that don't know, I typically don't like quote-unquote exposed content. I think it's dumb. I think it doesn't get anything done. I don't think there's any point to it. But sometimes there are good things that do come of it. I'm not gonna pretend that, you know, all exposed accusations result in good events or good results um however what i usually tend to do with these videos is to do a warning a um, bit of awareness i did the same thing for the smg4 has been hacked video in that situation so this is more of a warning and awareness kind of thing so what is this about this is about something that happened in discord server Ooh, discord i know drama in discord but this is a little bit important. So, for those that don't know, I'm a mod in this server. It's a uh, Rule 34 server, but specifically for SMG4 and Glitch. So, you know, haha, <laughs> ironic given the content I make. Um, so, I'm a mod there. And we have uh, quite a few server members. This started in October of 2022. So it's been a few months, like three, four months. So uh, you all probably wondering what the hell happened. So for starters, it all started in event channel, which I know you all are probably like event channel isn't then somewhere someone goes to vent about things they're upset about, which I agree, you could vent about anything you're upset about. But there are limits, and I didn't think there needed to be said that there are limits to what you can vent about. But apparently there are. Um, so there was this member, and I'm not 100% sure what he was venting about, but he said something that came off as very transphobic. And trigger warning for those that are transgender in a transgender community, um, this may be triggering, so just fair warning, letting you guys know that the screenshot I'm about to pull up, or the various screenshots I will pull up, may be triggering, so if you're not okay with that, um, skip ahead, because I usually do summarize at the end of the video, but if you have a strong stomach and you just really want to know what's going on, then I implore you to just look at the screenshots. So, this is one of the things this individual said. This is the beginning of their event. Um, I'm just gonna leave it up because they talk a lot. I'm gonna be leaving a lot of the screenshots up because they talk a lot. And I'm just gonna continue explaining what happened on the events of that day. So when this came up, I'm not gonna lie, I flew off the handle. I don't hold my tongue back. If I feel passionate about something, I will call you a fucking idiot. I will call you stupid. I'll call you anything under the sun if I genuinely think you have literally no freaking common sense. And this individual exhibited absolutely no common sense. So when this happened, I flew off the handle, but I took a step back because, you know, maybe I was misunderstanding what they said. As I will go ahead and share with you all, they are German. Now, save your criticisms for what that means for later, but I want to preface their German and English is not their first language. So, I gave mild benefit of the doubt that maybe I was misunderstanding something that they were saying because, you know, language barrier, those things happen. A lot of cases, there isn't a language barrier, but it's also it's important to just sometimes get better for the doubt. Not everyone speaks English as a first language. Some words don't even exist where they would in the English language. Some words don't even have a translation. So I tend to want to keep an open mind about that, all things considered. Um, so when this came about, several people in the server were already uncomfortable. Um, there are actually transgender people in the server. So that was an issue, like a big issue that everyone had. I was upset about it. I just want to take a step back. But the more this individual kept trying to validate what they had vented about, the more it became apparent that 
they were being very transphobic. And I don't swing that word around lightly as words around the internet get passed around like so often that sometimes people aren't even accused of what they're being accused of. But in this case, this is blatantly transphobic. And the rest of the server tried to explain to them, hey, there's a difference between genetics, sex, and other things. And we even went down into the scientific explanation of something that honestly didn't need explaining. Bones are complicated. They basically tried to say that if you are born, you're assigned gender. That when your bones are dug up, scientists are going to know you're male or female. Bones are way more complicated than that. Quite literally more complicated than that. Anyone with a brain actually knows that you just can't tell right away if something's male or female via bones. All right. And anyone that knows how transitioning works, when you take testosterone or estrogen, your body makeup does change quite a bit. Like even the bone structure does change quite a bit. Not significantly where you can see a large difference, but there is changes. So we explain this to them because I also understand and understand that some people just don't know this particular topic. And when you don't know a particular topic, you can come off as ignorant or just straight up stupid. He went on to say that this was our opinion. Now, I'm all for people sharing and stating their opinion, but there's a difference between blatantly being wrong to the point it makes you, you know, transphobic, homophobic, all the nine yards. You don't just go ahead and just say things because they're your opinion and just leave it at that. No, if you're wrong, you're wrong. There's a difference between having an opinion and being just factually wrong. An opinion is like, oh, how did you feel about the show? I think the show's stupid or someone says, no, the show's not stupid. It has a message. That's having an opinion versus you saying, hey, did you know the show's creator is Japanese? No, I didn't know. That's a cool fact. You can't argue if the creator is Japanese or not because it's just a fact. There is no such thing as having an opinion on things that are factual. You get my point. So when that happened, he kept going on and on and on back and forth. Um, there was a time in the conversation where I thought maybe they were underage because sometimes you will get people that are underage that sometimes sneaks into, sneak into servers they're not supposed to sneak into. So I demanded their ID. They gave me their ID. They're actually an adult. They're an adult. So yeah, they're being ignorant and stupid. So what did me and the mods decide to do? The three mods at the, at, we are, there are only three mods at the time. So me included, three of us, two other mods. So what did we decide to do? We muted him. Yeah, I know there's a lot of servers out there that just would have banned him altogether, but we muted him. We really didn't think it needed to be like something so big that we needed to kick or ban him. Because again, one, it would have been channel. And English is not his first language. Perhaps there was something else going on, so we just simply muted him. We understand that sometimes people say things and have certain opinions about things that, you know, others wouldn't agree with strongly. If he's making transphobic statements, we kind of made the assumption that he could be transphobic in general. Now, I'm not saying he was or is, we just made that assumption based on what we know and what they said and try to make the best decisions in the worst case scenario, which again, I told you, we have transgender individuals in the server. So we just muted him. We didn't kick him, we just muted him. He was on mute for a very long time. And we muted him for, it started out eight hours, then it started, then it, it started with eight hours and it's bled into 24 hours. We have a mute channel. The mute channel, you can talk, do whatever, but you're just not allowed to interact with the rest of Discord. You're just in the mute channel. And I think a lot of mods know what I'm talking about because a lot of mods have done that before. So when that happened, one of the mods had a discussion about it with them. And they kept talking, which it's fine. They can talk all they want because one of the mods actually can't speak German. I don't speak German. All I can do is do Google Translate, but I let that mod handle it because it's better for someone that knows the language in depth to try and communicate and talk to, you know, someone 
that also speaks that language. I let them communicate, I let them talk it out since they're both German and speak the German language. I stayed out of it. I returned maybe eight hours later and he's still talking and this came up in English and I'm just gonna let it be there for a little bit. Let us sit there and marinate and keep addressing what happened. I'll pop up screenshots every now and then to explain what had happened. But they're claiming that they are not transphobic. Now, I know what people may say going forward or going next. If they're saying they're not transphobic, but what they said was actually really transphobic as, again, you can't just address like, oh, you're just born into this gender. You will always be this gender. It doesn't matter if you transition or not. You're still this gender. That's transphobic. All right, that just is. And if you actually have transgender friends, you wouldn't have said that. So it was really weird that they were pushing this narrative. But again, people are ignorant. You know, you don't know anything. So someone would need to educate you. Things escalated when they brought my race into this. For those of you who know, I am black, I'm African, well, African American. It's not like he's saying slurs or anything, but I don't appreciate my race being brought up my race my ethnicity being brought up in the discussion has nothing to do with it leads me to believe there's something else going on beneath the surface but try to ignore that wasn't that serious we're just handling the situation of them being muted which again we are muting them the purpose of the mute is for them to just talk it out us talk it out and if we just you know get everything settled they could be unmuted we just needed him to just be quiet really the whole thing was for him we just wanted him to shut up after a while, we were willing to move on if they just shut up. So when that happened, um, we told him we just simply wanted him to just be quiet. That never happened. And I'll pull up more screenshots of what happened in the muted room. And this appeared next in the muted room let me see if i can pull it up i think i'm having trouble pulling up some of the screenshots because they're like literally all over the place but um in the case that this conversation just kept going it kept going it kept going it was getting very it was getting very frustrating then he pulled this up which, if you're going to say I'm not transphobic, but then follow it up with a transphobic remark, I can't say anything to you. I believe one of the, in one of his lines, he said, if you mix chromosomes, then you're just coming out with a freak, which again, genetics and sex are two different things. I don't know why it was so hard for them to get this across but i was trying to get across to them that you can still be transphobic and have trans friends it's the same thing as someone being racist and having black friends or whatever ethnicity friend you have it's not that complicated so after a while his now 24 hour mute became a 48 hour mute and he was still talking so what did we do we did not ban him I repeat, we did not ban him. I chose to just forcibly mute him, as in he couldn't send messages at all in the server, not even a mute server. And I know you are all thinking, Lil, why are you giving him so many chances? Well, when people are hot-headed or really upset, I am guilty of doing this as well. We just keep talking, and sometimes we make things worse when we keep talking. So I'm like, okay, if I forcibly mute him, then this has to stop. Eventually, it just has to stop. Um, it didn't stop. It stopped in a Discord. But it did not stop on Twitter. So we have a rule to not share things that happen in Discord on Twitter. Because it just... It just it, it's always a mess. Everyone knows that it's a mess. If you're going to share things that happen on Discord, on Twitter, what's the point of being on Discord? But we had that rule. Whatever happens in Discord stays in Discord, which this entire time, 
I didn't say anything, didn't expose them. You can literally look throughout my page. If you see me making one-off comments or tweets about someone being stupid, being this individual, I never stated them by name, never. I believe one of the mods did say something. One of the mods did say something and you'll probably know um, them as Flan. You probably saw some of the screenshots that they said or posted up that this individual, which I will refer to as the SFM, just to be sure, because it was a long name. They posted their screenshots of what they said on Twitter. I didn't want it to get to that far, but at that point I was already asleep and Flan was awake and so were they. So when that happened, it was because the SFM was already talking about what had happened on Twitter. They were trying to be vague, but it was obvious that they weren't being vague at all. They were talking about the server. They were talking about the individuals in the server, me included. For those I know, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I don't care if people talk about me or accuse me of things. I don't care. It's the internet. I probably will never meet you IRL, and if I did, well, first of all, we wouldn't be interacting for long at all. Second of all, kudos to you. You know, like, life goes on. Things exist outside the internet. I felt like this individual spent too much time on the internet, which is why I didn't kick him from the server. Because, again, if they're acting like this, they need to go out and touch grass with that war and a kick or a ban. No, not necessarily. Others would you know, disagree, and you can already save your judgments if you think I was wrong for letting them stay this long just for their transphobic remarks, then by all means, yes, probably in hindsight, I should have kicked them right away, but I didn't want to. I wanted to try and diffuse or maybe understand the situation better, but that ended up biting me in the ass because he ended up going to Twitter about everything. So this is when we finally banned him. We banned and we kicked. And I'll show up the screenshot of what the message was when that happened. This is the entirety of the message. This is what happened. And as you can read, things that take place in server stay in the server. Running a slander campaign on Twitter and posting false information to post a narrative instead of taking the time to reflect upon multiple warnings to do so is not helping your case. I didn't send this. One of the moms did. And as you can see... Which, again, being transphobic wasn't the bulk of why they got kicked or banned. It's them talking about it on Twitter is what got them banned. So you're all probably wondering, Lil, if all this happened, and it happened in October, everything's settled, up, everything's good and fine, they moved on, he won't bug you anymore. No, that's not the case. Because recently, they started harassing individuals in a server again i guess he shares discords with them and things have been escalating quickly things have been getting bad and the individual were main anonymous but it got really bad as this individual suffers from depression i don't know what sfm really did to them i feel like there's more to the story but for those that are in the smg4 slash glitch fandom i am putting this up as a cautionary tale that this person really is there's an issue with this person and i'm not saying they're crazy they could be crazy but i'm not going to you know show my words in other people's mouths you could decide that on your own now just to cover all my bases, everyone's probably wondering, are they really transphobic? They said that they're not transphobic, and maybe what they said was just based on ignorance and lack of knowledge. I'm posting up this, the last few screenshots that I have, and you all can decide what this means for yourself. But this solidifies what I was worried about. And right here is them agreeing with the transphobe. You can't get that more concrete than this. It just is. And talked about everyone being liberals, lefts. That's political jargon bullshit. But it's like, yeah, if you say this, then you're just, you're, 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 you're transphobic. And I know somewhere they're probably stalking my profile. They're probably watching this video and are probably going to try what they did again and try and quote unquote expose me or talk about things that didn't happen or prove their case. If they do, let them. Let them. 
I've already blocked them on most of my sites. Um, I can still find them. Like, don't, <laughs> don't misunderstand. I can literally just find their account. And this is one of them. The original account where they started posting things about the server, it was suspended or deleted. I'm not 100% sure what happened, but it's gone. So if any evidence of them like talking about the server and talking about me is also gone. However, they do tend to delete their tweets a lot. So I screenshot just a couple I could find. Uh, they're still like this. They're still spreading this jargon or misinformation, calling the Twitter Nazis, liberals, ah, the acts of the left, and being above all else, very, very transphobic. If you interact with this individual, my advice is you be careful. You be very careful. Stay away from them for your own sanity. Block them. Do whatever you want. These tweets still exist. You can actually look them up with their um, with his um, Twitter tag. You can still look them up. You just have to scroll a little bit, but you can still find them. You can find these tweets. You can report them. Do whatever you want. The reason I'm putting this out there is because the, as the, this is more of a current situation. The harassment is more current. It happened last month until like today and i don't play that mess listen if you have beef with me and you hate me you target that hate towards me even though i'm not the only one that decided you should be kicked out the entirety of the server didn't want you in the server but tomato tomato doesn't matter if you want to point your hate towards me go ahead and do that that's fine i can take it because again you're just someone on the internet i probably never meet i don't know and i don't care i'm not going to give you attention that you so desperately crave. If you're mad at me because I call you on your bullshit, go ahead, be mad. Direct that hate towards me. I can take it. I don't really care. I've literally been through a fuck ton worse. But when you target people in my server, that's where I draw the line. That's when all bets are off. I'm not making this video to prove my case or prove my idiots, my innocence. I'm not making this, sorry about me fumbling over words. It's still early and I just want to get this over with because I got shit to do. I'm not making this video or spilling all these beans to prove my case, prove my quote unquote innocence. I'm not going to lie. I cursed him out. I did. I cursed him out. Called him stupid. Yeah, I'll call him anything over under the sun. And maybe for those that are all like, hey, if he's transphobic, you're going a little bit too far. If he shows screenshots of me cursing him out, yeah, I'm not going to deny I said those things. I did. I cursed him out because I was mad. Like I said, I get hot-headed. And if you're like, Lil, you're doing too much, all right, that's your opinion. I was in my feelings, so I did what I did. But this video is literally a cautionary tale and to get out what had happened in that entire situation there was a lot more that happened over the course of the three to four months that this happened in but this video is already long enough i'm going to be posting screenshots on twitter and maybe i'm probably just going to make a google doc about the entirety of the situation and explain it in depth that people want to know i'll have more screenshots there and you all can make your judgments for yourselves my advice to you is to just block this person that now goes by jennifer fm if they're in the Splatoon community, I advise you also avoid them unless you agree with their statements, which, you know, that's on you. Um, block them. You can report them if you want. Just avoid them for your own mental health. I'm just trying to keep everyone I know safe, and I'm going to tell my members in my server to also avoid them and stay away. But that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. I don't know if I'll be streaming anytime soon. There's a lot going on that I need to take care of, but um, that's about it, i catch you on the next one, hopefully the next thing I talk about isn't stupid drama like this, maybe it's fun drama, I hope, but um, yeah, that's about it, I'll catch you on the next one, uh, peace out.